I hope we are live. Uh, I, I hope you guys had a great weekend. Uh, as you can see on the thumbnail there, uh, I have orange. Okay. This is a fresh orange. I just cut. Uh, I just cut it. Man, it smells wonderful. Okay, it smells wonderful. You guys wonder, okay, what am I doing with this orange? Guess what? We are going to make, I'm going to make espresso with orange this morning. So it's going to be espresso orange. Uh, because lately, I mean, lately a lot of, I think a lot of I mean, friends at the Instagram, uh, especially Ryan, shout out to Ryan if you are watching. Uh, Ryan did a great uh, YouTube, uh, not, it's not a YouTube readers, but Instagram readers on uh, making orange espresso. Okay, so I think I'm going to try the same recipe this morning. And the, he did, what he did, uh, what he done was he put the orange on the bottom. Okay, and then I, I don't think the bottom is not the solution. I think I should move out the top, uh, just like, like puck screen. Okay, I think I'm mean, just like puck screen. Uh, instead of puck screen, orange as my, in a way, kind of like a puck screen there. And they push down the espresso grounds and hopefully we're going, we are going to have some good extraction. Uh, I'm going to use a bottomless pore filter so that, you know, hopefully you guys are going to see the extraction there. It might be channeling, I'm not quite sure. Okay, it might be channeling, I'm not quite sure, but I'm going to be using my standard 18 gram dose. And I'm going to add the orange on the top. I should be, should be fun. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to try this uh, espresso this morning. Uh, comes to coffee, I think I'm going to go with a Neapolitan. Okay, Neapolitan. So this is Neapolitan from Good Brothers Coffee. Uh, I the Neapolitan has very dark chocolatey tasting notes. Should be really interesting. Uh, let's do 18 gram dose, my standard 18. By the way, if you're joining us for the first time, uh, welcome to live streaming. Okay, uh, we do a lot of fun stuff here on this channel. Uh, a lot of fun stuff. Since this is live, uh, I can change whatever topic we want to cover. So there's no planning. I'm um, surely we, ha we definitely have fun with making coffee. Okay. I, I think, uh, you know what, I think someone told me that coffee making should be, you know, should be fun and interesting, right? Because, you know, it can be boring sometimes. You know, everybody has your morning coffee, morning coffee routine. But once in a while, once in a while you have to break that routine. Okay. So this is one of them. Okay. So this is one of them. Okay, let's go standard 18 gram. Okay, so this is the duck roast. Okay, so this is the duck roast Neapolitan. And I'm going to add, stro uh, not the strawberry, I'm going to put the orange on the top, okay, so which means it's going to be orange, espresso, uh, tasting notes going to be obviously orange and chocolate and smooth. Isn't it sounds wonderful? Okay, uh, <clears throat> uh, comes the grinder for this. Uh, I've, as you can see, I've got a couple of grinders here behind me. Uh, with this coffee, I really had good success with a uh, niche grinder. Okay, uh, my niche is sitting in this corner right here. So let's use uh, my niche grinder. And I think we're going to have a pretty good success with it. Uh, 18 gram going in. And it uh, comes to basket. Uh, I'm going to be using 20 gram baskets instead of 18 gram baskets. The reason is uh, with the 18 gram baskets, I don't think it's not going to be tall enough to compensate the, the slice of orange. So I'm going to switch out to 20 gram basket for sure. Because you need to have that group uh, space, okay, the space, the spacing between group head from the uh, your obviously for your espresso, okay, it's espresso ground. All right. Okay, let's do some puck prep. Give you guys a little closer here. Uh, shout out to Mike. Mike is a first timer for the live streaming. Yeah, welcome to live streaming, Mike. Okay. Uh, uh, meantime, we have a lot of regulars here this morning as well. We have a lot of regulars. 
just simply so this is the 18 gram going in uh, comes to you know let's do just tr uh, traditional WDT okay yeah I'm not gonna use my fancy tools yet I'm just gonna do my traditional w the, uh, by the way WDT uh, the manual is the best Okay, but you're gonna get the best result from the manual. But if you're looking for consistency, uh, obviously, uh, AutoCom give you the consistency, right? It's not the best. It may not be the best, but give you the consistency. And also, this one is a fully automatic uh, WDT tools as well. Okay, so this is a fully automatic WDT. So if you're looking for consistency, you have a few options. Expensive options, but you have a you, you do have some options. Okay, so uh, WDT is done. You know what? I just go straight uh, temping here. Just do the straight temp. So we have a lot of uh, head space there. So now we are good. We're not, I'm not quite done yet, okay? Uh, we need to slice orange. All right. So I'm going to cut some slice orange right on the top. Because I need the orange to cover, okay, right on the top. Uh, here, here's the thing about the orange slice on the top, right? It's not going to be perfectly even. So it's not going to saturate the top properly. So having said that, okay, having said that, I think I'm going to put the paper on the top. I'm going to put the paper on the top to compensate the channeling. Okay, compensate the channeling there. I hope my theory works. All right. Zeno asked me, are, are we doing coffee with the orange? Yes. Answer is yes. We are doing coffee with, with the orange this morning. I'm just going to uh, cut thin slice. Okay. Right on the top here, just like so. Wow, smells great. Okay, plus that this jest as well, orange jest too. Uh, I think it's gonna be. It should be interesting for sure. All right. Okay, here we go. So let's lock, lock, lock it in. All right, uh, let's pull the shot here. Let's see. Let's get the right cups for this. Uh, I want to go a little large on this one. Maybe like one to three ratio, okay? 18 gram going in about like 50, what? 56 gram, right? 56. So let's go uh, 54, 54, 50 gram, uh, 54 gram there. 54 or 56. All right, uh, comes to cup. Let's get the right cups for this. Uh, okay, how about a nice clear glass? Okay, uh, actually, uh, let's try this one. I think this one should be more interesting. Uh, okay, got my scale. So what do you guys think? It's gonna be. <clears throat> How many of the things that we are going to have channeling? Let me know in the comment section as well. How many things that uh, we are going to have channeling in this coffee? I want to see uh, how many people think on my live chat before I'm going to pull the shot. I, I have a feeling we're going to have some channeling, but who knows? Okay. And they, hopefully that paper uh, compensate the channeling there. So we'll see how it goes. All right. I'm going to take you guys right underneath of the uh, port filter so you guys can see it. Meantime, I need to uh, get you guys a flashlight here. Okay, here we go, guys. Uh, uh, Baba say password channeling. I think, yeah, Baba might be right. Okay, Baba might be right. All right, here we go, guys. Should be fun here.
Not too bad. Now we're going to see some little bit of channeling there. Let's go one to two. Yeah, uh, about 48 gram, 38 gram at 34 seconds. So that's not too bad. All right. Okay, that's not too bad. 34 seconds at 38 gram. Yeah. I thought it's going to be worse, but better than I thought. I'm going to try this. I'm going to let it cool down for a little bit. Uh, let's take a look at the puck. Okay, it's, again, it's, it's okay. I can definitely smell the interesting aroma. Very nice. Yeah. Comes to channeling wise, as you can see from there, right, uh, right on the middle. Okay. I mean, you can see from the bottom as well. You see that, the channeling area. So this is an orange espresso. Here we go. Cheers. Okay. It smells really good though. You know, uh, this is uh, quite nice, I have to say. Uh, if you haven't tried this, Uh, with uh, dark, uh, dark chocolate notes, with a hint of the hint of uh, orange. I mean, if you're gonna do it right, I mean, I wonder you can actually. I just dropped it. Okay, hold on. I wonder. I wonder you are going to squeeze the juice right inside. Dump it in here. Yeah. Uh, let's try this. Okay, let's try this. Man. Uh, if you haven't tried with, okay, I mean, don't even bother, you know, I mean, don't bother to put orange slice in your espresso machines, but uh, just, uh, Squeeze in some fresh orange, you know, fresh orange. I just dump everything in. Okay. It's quite nice. I think you're gonna like. I think you're gonna like uh, weight taste as well. I wonder if I'm gonna add some little bit of water to it. Hold on. Mix a little bit of americano with that. Okay, uh, and I'm going to squeeze out the, all the orange, just like so. Okay, uh, let's give it a try here. And the, you got the oil from the orange slice too, the oil. A little hot right now, okay. Uh, okay, John said try with the lemon. Yeah, uh, yeah, lemon sounds good too, right? Because I know some of the coffees out there has a great uh, lemon uh, tasting notes as well. So, uh, I, it is a little hot. I think we should wait. Anyway, uh, again, uh, it was a little longer shot. So what my I need to do is maybe grind grinder size a little coarser, perhaps. Okay, little coarser, and then just make sure you get the larger baskets. All right, because you need a, don't use an 18 gram basket on this one. Uh, if you have a 20 gram basket. Use 20. Uh, if you are, if you don't have a uh, 20 gram baskets, uh, just just use about 16 gram dose instead of 18 gram, because you need, you need to compensate the spacing between your puck and your group head. Okay, so you you don't want to be too tight in there. Okay, you don't have to be too tight. Okay, let's give it a try right now. Man, I like it. Okay, this is a especially with the americano. It's very subtle. Orange tasting notes. 
I mean, it is fun. Uh, it's definitely a fun recipe for sure. I mean, that's definitely a fun recipe for sure. Uh, Dave asked, uh, what's, uh, what coffee is that? Uh, so this is the Neapolitan coffee from uh, Good Brothers Coffee. You know what? I think I should put the link as well. I do have a 15% off coupon code. So yeah, make sure to check it out. Anyway, uh, we got some, uh, I think Mike is the first time to live streaming. Uh, let me know who else is the first time to live streaming. Uh, let me know in the live chat as well. Okay, we got about a few people watching this morning. About a few people watching. So, uh, let's see. Is there a, uh, any first timer uh, besides Mike? We have our regular as well. Uh, we, ha oh, we have friends from Ukraine. 6.41 p.m. Okay, you have friends from Ukraine. Okay, we are, uh, let's see here, the friends from Ukraine. Shout out to Dave. Uh, Dave is for the first time. Yeah, I mean, again, uh, my live uh, sessions are pretty casual. All right, we just make some coffee and usually talk about, uh, talk about some coffee gears, coffee gadgets. I love gadgets, as you can see, and play with the different sets of birds as well. And then this week, uh, coming up this week, uh, I'm going to be playing with uh, Lapaboni. I, 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 I need to reach out to... Uh, I need to reach out to Bruce Papa, and uh, I'm going to set, uh, set something up with Bruce. Uh, and then we're going to do some live with Bruce. As, uh, shout out to Joe. Joe is the first time there as well. Yeah, Joe is not a first timer. Okay. If you have any question about DF grinders, Joe is the man, okay? He is the Mr. Ex exclusive for United States for all the DF grinders. Uh, all the DF grinders big back there, uh, Turin, that's complimentary of Joe, so. Make sure check out his website. I think, I think he's the only person who handles it. Uh, if you're in Canada, I think some other distributors uh, but, you know, comes to U.S., I mean, Joe is the only, I think Joe, I think Joe is Joe the only person. Uh, I've been playing with the DM47. Okay. DM47, I have to say. This grinder here. I mean, so this one is, hold on, let me show you guys. Okay, so this is a little bit more than, okay, so DF54, as you guys know, uh, I think I, I made a video on that as well, $229, 230, 54 millimeter flat burr. So this is a 47 millimeter conical, okay. Uh, I think Joe is selling for 269, and I think you can get an open box for like 169 or something like that, like $100 cheaper, but I think uh, coming to open box is somewhat limited as well. I don't know how many left, but, but I mean, if you are looking for something interesting grinder, I mean, Joe, this thing comes to build quality. I'm talking about just the build, okay? Build quality wise, this one is the, by far, okay, the best grinder from a turret, okay? Just look and fierce to it. Just well built, okay. I was pretty impressed with this, okay. I was pretty impressed with the build quality. I mean, I cannot imagine if you are, if you're going to use the same form factor, same material, okay, and same build quality on like a 64 millimeter. I don't know. It'd be really interesting, okay. Very interesting for sure. I mean, this one is, I, you have to feel it to believe it, but yeah, this is a really interesting one. Yeah. Uh, Joe say, uh, Joe has a couple of open box. Uh, okay, so yeah, Joe only has a couple of open box. So, it says some box uh, got some damage, but yeah, uh, I mean, if you can, okay, uh, definitely work, definitely checking it out for sure. And so what I done was, I know some of you saw my uh, other videos, but I upgrade the bird, the 47 millimeter, so, uh, so this burr is good for espresso and filter, but Kinu burrs are compatible with the DM47. They're the same 47 millimeter. Kinu is known for their filter and overall hand grinder. They are, I mean, they are really, really nice hand grinders, but 
Fortunately, you can use the same birth set. You can use on the DM47. So I know a lot of you out there bought this grinder, and then a lot of people upgrade to uh, Kinu birds. Okay, Kinu birds that it's gonna be a game changer for if you're into filter coffee as well. And plus, you can take this one has a car charger too. Okay, you can also you can use it in your car. If you're gonna get a one grinder for your camping, your house. I don't know. I mean, so, di so this is uh, coming off the top of my list so far, okay? If, I, if I'm going to get just only one grinder for, I mean, overall, okay, camping, you know, travel with it, you know, especially car camping, it'd be fantastic as well. I think that's better than hand grinder, okay? So anyway, uh, make sure to check out my other videos on that one, okay, the M47. That's, I'm going to make some more videos with it, but that's really interesting grinder. Okay. The noodle asks, which DF grinder is the best for both end filters? You know what? There's no such thing as a grinder that does well with both filter and uh, uh, espresso. If you're going to get one, okay, go with the espresso focus grinder, okay? And which means most of DF grinder comes with the espresso focus grinder, uh, the burst, okay, period. So just go with it. The reason why I say that, because if you go to a filter focus grinder, you cannot do espresso well, okay? But if you pick out the espresso birds, guess what? You can do filter. Uh, it's not well, but it's gonna be, you're going to get a decent filter coffee. But filter birds, you're only good for filter. Espresso is going to be challenging. So that, uh, that's the reason why. Okay, so a, uh, let's see here. Uh, Aaron said, you are using the Kinu uh, Pro Overburst. Yes, I, I'm using the Kinu Pro Overburst right now, not the Kinu Espresso Burst. Here's the thing about the Espresso. Uh, espresso Burst, man, there's so many of them. Uh, depend on the, what kind of coffee you like. And it's going to be hard to differentiate, especially conical size, okay, especially conical birds. So with the conical, I mean, I, I, mean, I, I prefer okay with the brewers i mean this one if you want to do espresso it takes about a minute or so to grind that coffee uh, take a while because they're slow rpm i mean it works slowly with the filter man that does amazing work okay that does amazing work but most likely if you think about buying dm47 or you know hand grinder whatnot it's gonna be your second grinder anyway it's not gonna be your main Okay, it's, gonna be, it's not going to be your main grinder. So let's say if you own a Braver machine, Braver Brista Express, and built-in grinder, uh, if you want to do espresso and filter at the same time, you want to do more filter more, instead of buying, you know, expensive grinder, grinder like this, and upgrade the birds. Okay, I mean, that's, now you have more options. It's all about the options. Uh, today. I mean, I don't know what to tell you about which grinder is the best because there are so many different grinders out there, so many different bird choices, uh, all different price range. Uh, it's crazy. Yeah, crazy. I mean, even like Joe's website, Joe has 54 millimeter all the way up to uh, 98, okay? Or 83, 98. For, I, I don't think Turin sells 98 yet, but it will. But all the way up to uh, 83, and different burr options, D different grinders, right? You have DF, Gen 2, and then V. We have 83, 83V. Let me say that's, you have so many different, so many different. Okay. Uh, Kevin said, can you ask Joe when do we, uh, when to clean? Uh, if you're using the darker roast coffee, I, you know what, I mean, I recommend you guys clean at least, least every other week. Because the darker roast coffee, you know, oily coffee beans, right? It's very oily. Sometimes it's stuck on your shoot there as well. So, yeah, you, I mean, you just, you know, just clean it, okay? Uh, if you are using medium to light roast, maybe once a month, you know, you don't need to clean much because they are already clean already. 
Okay. Uh, because again, if you are using oily coffee beans, I recommend, okay, I recommend, uh, you know, clean it more often than not, okay, for sure. All right, so let's see here. Got, okay, so Joe is, uh, okay, Joe is getting a phone call. Okay, hold on a second here. Adrian said, I like coffee, but I drink this sometimes, okay. Uh, by the way, is there anybody going to Chicago Coffee Fest, Coffee Expo? I got a few people watching this morning. I know, let's see here. I mean, if you are in Chicago, or if you are planning on going to SCA Chicago in next month, let me know, okay? You know, I'd love to meet up with you guys as well. All right, we have a cat joining us. Hold on, who else? Uh, let's see here, Aaron. Okay, I uh, answer Aaron's question. Okay, uh, Ajax said this model is quite expensive in Thailand. No kidding. All right. Zeno says Chicago is pretty far. Yeah, I think Zeno is in. Uh, is, where are you, Zeno? I think you are you in Jerusalem or Tel Aviv or somewhere in Middle East. Yeah. Okay, uh, if you're just joining us, we just made a coffee with orange, okay? Works great, I have to say. It uh, works great, all right? And then I think I'm going to put the orange after the fact. Yeah, that's what I do. Yeah, I think oh, that's what I do. Uh, Ajax says, same price as DF64V. I mean, Ajax, are you talking about the DM47? Is the same price as the DF64V? That's crazy. I might ask, who and have you tried the car? Uh, let's see. Uh, brew, okay, try to brew. What is that, Ahmed? It's a ka, cascara? What is it? What is cascara? Yeah. What is cascara there? Uh, in Thailand, both same. Wow. So DM47 and DF64V are same price in Thailand. You know, I can, you know, I can see that for some reason. I mean, again, this build is... I mean, it's, okay, it comes to build quality, okay? Uh, look and feel to it. My uh, P64 from optional. I'm talking about the bill, okay? Bill quality, just feel, feel of it. I mean, there are, it's almost as good as a P64, okay? I'm talking about the feel and touch to it. It's crazy. And I mean, obviously there are totally different price range. The P64, you are looking at $1,700. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that, that completely different, you know, it's not even the same league, it comes to price-wise, but Comes to build, the M47 is pretty impressive. Yeah. You know what? I love to try the option of the, the Lagom Mini. Because I, I love to go side by side with the Lagom Mini with uh, the M47. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know how many people have a D, uh, Lagom Mini in Tucson. I'm in Arizona here, so um, Tucson is not exactly a specialty coffee town anyway, so yeah. I mean, I. I, mean, I I mean, I love to compare DM47 versus uh, Lago Mini. I wonder, I wonder someone, I gotta do some research. I bet you one of my friends has one. I bet you one of my friends has one, for sure. Let's see here, what else going on for you guys? Uh, today's Monday, by the way. Not a whole lot going on here, so. I think uh, let's call it a day, and I'll be back later, okay? Let's uh, be back later, and uh, let's do some more coffee brewing. Uh, hold on. All right, so Dave say, uh, what is the decent manual grind grinder? Uh, depend on what you want to drink. Uh, if you're into filter coffee, you know, if you're, if you're into pour over coffee, Looking for clean cup coffee. I'm talking about clean cup, uh, GP6, okay? And uh, if you are looking for all around 
you know, both good and good with espresso and filter. I, I think I go with the Easy Presso like K, K Plus or K Pro or K Ultra. They're really nice. Okay, and uh, if you are looking for what else? Yeah, that's it, right? Yeah, clean, clean copy GP6, K Ultra for the overall. And if you want something more espresso friendly, something give you that. But I'm, 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 I'm starting to liking that this Kinoverse right now. Uh, for filter as well. So you have a lot of options. But if you don't want to spend too much money, if you if you want to spend under 100 bucks, uh, Easy Presso, okay, like Q is pretty nice as well. Start with the, uh, a Q grinder. Uh, they're pretty decent as well. But that, I think they're still like 125 to 150 range as well. So again, uh, depend on what you want, but you got to willing to spend at least 125 to 150 for that, for sure. Uh, if you don't want to spend that kind of money, spend 50 or 60 bucks. You know, just make sure, just get the right brand. Okay, Easy Presso has been around for a long time. Timor, like C3, is also pretty good. Can go wrong with that as well. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so uh, you, you got some few options. But it's all about, you know, sometimes it's about, uh, you know, like Easy Presso is a different category, like special GP6. Uh, it's, it's only about 200 bucks. But it comes to filter, I mean, GP6 is really nice. Okay. But again, you have to pick one. Uh, comes to hand grinder, if I were to just pick one. But what I mean by that is, I want to focus on the uh, espresso or filter. But who wants to do espresso on hand grinder, right? That's too much work. I mean, that it is a lot of work. I mean, un unless you are young and strong. Yeah, but yeah, way way too much work for me. And th that's the reason why I really like the uh, like DM forty seven. You can use in your car too. So camping trip would be great. You know, just put on your car charger and start grinding some coffee beans. Okay, uh, Carbo is just joining us as well. well let's see here. Is Neapolitan blend from Good Brothers? Uh, okay, dark roast in between. Uh, uh, so this is the dark roast. I mean, the Neapolitan is a dark roast. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're good coffee. Uh, a very safe coffee, let's put it that way. E easy to dial in. Uh, uh, let's see here. Alexander say uh, timer. Yeah, timer. Uh, the C3, C2. I think you can get a C2 for a decent price now. That's an older model. C3 is their latest one. All right. I think we are good for this morning. It's about half an hour. Again, uh, if you're a first timer, uh, we, we usually talk about between half an hour to an hour range. And then we just hang out there. And I usually do morning session and uh, sometimes afternoon. I'm trying to go two sessions every single day, you know, because you know, because I drink morning coffee and afternoon around I have another. I usually drink espresso in the morning, and the filter coffee in the afternoon. So, so this afternoon I got some great coffee from, uh, let's say, friends at uh, coffee, uh, Bean Coffee Lab. Shout out to An. I don't think An is here, but yeah, An sent me some uh, sample roast and also lychee as well. From Diego. So let's brew uh, some of that this afternoon. Let's have some fun. Okay, guys. See you, you know, see you guys in about what three, four hours?